Sieht ja auch uh, hoch Strub aus. Du bist leid übrigens. Ja. Oh, hi, welcome everyone. Um, I'll be giving you a little name. Du bist live. Ja, yeah, I get it. <laughs> so, uh, welcome back to, to Bitwash and I Live. I'll be giving you a little live tour of our venue. Um, so Mark gave you Mark gave you a general introduction of the of the space, how it was founded, um, the four or the, the couple of NGOs that or the clubs that constitute it. And um, yeah, I think everything said, uh, we've got a lot of exciting stuff happening. We've got a lot of, we've got a good program for the RC3. And um, the idea of this segment is for me to give you a little tour. This, so we'll be we'll be staying on the third floor, which is the actual bit where shall I there's some other stuff. There's a cafeteria on the fifth where there's some stuff happening, um, but we can't make it up there due to um, network restrictions and whatnot. So let me see if I can get my mobile recording gear going. So if you can switch to mobile, I think we are live on the mobile. So what you see here is where I just presented do, 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 the screen for back reading. Oh, this is the VOC loves doing this no they fucking don't all right let's go for a little tour so we've got a trusty voc operation center here thank you very much for the quality services provided we've got something which looks like a bit of a lock picking operation over there that's my bike Sportsfreunde der Sperrtechnik. as long as you own the lock i think that's fair game isn't it it is though yeah. Perfect. Valentina. Oh, we've got the stairs down here because... Oh, yes, we're going to demonstrate something. I would say so. I think it's demo time at the amazing drawer. Can someone please come in? So storage is always a bit of a... Storage being an issue in hacker spaces. Um... We decided to turn our stage into a bit of a mm, storage area. So this is, uh, we actually hit the limit due to the recording equipment over there. It goes a bit further and we've got four of those so that plenty of storage to go. That, who built this anyways? I think it was built in the early days of Bitwasherei by some trusty volunteers. Oh, another by service that actually... By Benny and me. So, Yes, we are part of the chaos boss. We got it. Uh, I'll show you later on. We've got another. This is basically a leftover of um, Meg Zurich, where we started to experiment with something like. First of all, this is the the RC3 lounge starter kit, which contains a speaker, DJ high tech here, condoms, the drug paraphernalia. That kind of stuff. Uh, next, and then we, we used to run a service which is called Suchtgift as a service, where there's random supplies of THC, LSD, and whatnot popping up. It's been well received by the community, which is why it's always empty. And, uh, and well, oh, just say. So, in Switzerland, it is legal to own, to possess small quantities of contraband. So, it's not, you're not breaking the law by putting anything here or by taking it. As soon as you consume it, you're breaking the law. Um, so this is supposed to go back over here because there's a stairs. Oh, then over here we've got the workshop, which is, well, basically anything you need with regards to mechanics. You've got small drills for PCB drilling, you've got big drills for heavy lifting. You've got someone building something around here. More drills, a bandsaw, uh, that kind of stuff, metal cutting. A rather decent workshop, I have to say. There's not much to miss, Makita, whatever, all the tools you can imagine. 
What we got here is oh, Valentina Shiposkaya. She'll be holding Valentina. Tell us what you're doing. I perform data visualization and dry the space. You'll be holding a um, presentation on your work later on. Tomorrow. 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 What time? Five between five and uh, six o'clock p.m. All right, Valentina Shipaskaya with data science visualization tomorrow, 1700 channel Bitwasherei. Moving on, which is this part, these areas is like a hardware hacking area. So we got Zohar here, idiot IO, our idiot in residence from Israel, Hello. doing lots of interesting work. I haven't even gotten around to. Um, to looking at everything you've been doing. Tell us a bit about it. Uh, I am um, based, uh, based on Tel Aviv. I came here to be like a geek, like an idiot, I guess. And you're geeking well good. Yeah. Tell us about your sticky circuits. Yeah. Because this is this so is I, amazing uh, stuff. I'm gonna do this uh, also view about like, uh, the method of uh, DIY, low cost, uh, <coughs> fabrication of flexible stickers circuits. So this is foldable that. circuits. You you basically you design a PCB. You you're like oh what? it's powering. Oh, oh it's blinking. Anyway, it's, it's blinking. This is beautiful, sir. Tuesday, Tuesday 9 p.m. It's uh, at the metal lab. Yes. Tuesday 8 o'clock. Aha, that's the open lab. Nine yeah, but that's a physical. But you're holding a. When is your when is your uh, RC3 virtual? I would take, I'm on the program here. Ah, but having a look, yeah, Zora, idiot IO, brilliant work. 29, 9 o'clock. Yeah, 9 o'clock on the 29th day, day, whatever that is. Let's move on to get the trusty transportation device. There's too many cables. Well, maybe I'll show you the wet lab a bit. So whenever, so this is electronics. You've got the... Uh, uh, Megatronic. Oh, actually, this is. Tell me about that. So this is live recording in progress. Please, quiet. This is just for the for the current uh, RC3 recording sessions. So looking further into the wet lab, so we actually have the 3D printer here because it's basically it's a bit noisy. So it was a, it was a bit of an argument happening. Where are we putting the 3D printer? It was in one location and people complain about the noise we put it into another people complain i think it's found its final space nobody's complained about it for a month or so i'm not very very familiar with this part of the lab so there's whatever the fuck that is doesn't look very wet to me anyways i think it's biohacking seeds uh, whenever you have to work with chemicals obviously there's some binoculars. No idea what that is. It's probably blinking. If I no. Yeah. So uh, chemi uh, etching. So this is uh, PCB etching. Basically, if you need to, if you need to design your own circuits, uh, scale. Natalie Ward pool for M. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not very familiar with this part. Um, so there's chemicals and wet stuff and the fridge. Are we allowed to inspect the fridge? I'm not going to ask. More uh, working progress here, some seeds growing, whatever. Lab coats, some exposition. Oh, this is, uh, this is Zohar basically with his work on sticky circuits. Check it out. I impressive work. So there, this is the supply, so whenever you need a fucking zip tie, you know where to look, or a screwdriver, or batteries, do, 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 screws, LEDs, cables, knobs, potentiometers, the capacitors. So anything you need, it's a well, well, well built lab because it's been going for 20 years. Mark, one of the founding fathers of uh, the Swiss Mechatronic Art Society. How do you like the new space? 
it's fantastic, man. It's we never even dreamt about anything like this, and it just suddenly happened. Huh? <laughs> And yeah. this is just the beginning. Huh? I'm really looking forward for hosting people internationally, for having like larger events. Now we still use it as a small kind of social distanced kind of, you know, studio, workshop, whatever. And also back office. I'm in the back office of the RC3 to make sure all our events are properly documented. And I have this ready. Tonight, late at night, we can make... Pika Hiva, Super Hiva, kill you. Pika Hiva, Pika Hiva. We add this to the sugar, six kilo of sugar, and in 24 hours we have alcohol. Uh, wait, uh, yeah, okay, we want, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we've got uh, obviously no sugar, some. Sugar, man. This is where it's all happening, it's a network infrastructure. Don't bitch about the way this looks, the cabling, the lack of zip ties, there's no labeling. It just fucking works. If it doesn't, we go and fix it, all right? Kitchen area. 8-bit mixtape. That is one of my... That is a long-running favorite of the SGMK. If you haven't seen it, check it out. 8-bit mixtape. Um, it's a, It's running on the tiniest fucking chip you can imagine, because why not make your life, make your life miserable? It's just called our tiny. It's, it's not so small. <laughs> it's a fucking chip platform for sure. But it's a brilliant, I fucking love these devices, been playing with them quite a bit. So then, feel free to call, so one of the, one of the space, uh, uh, basically the, the, the hacker space found this, uh, we inherited this from CCZ Zurich. It's live whenever you need to call the space on an analog voice line. Feel free to do that. It's got a, it's got a lovely analog ring. Kitchen area, which is where we try to feed. Sort of. Café Kasse, whenever you take something from the kitchen, don't forget to feed the Café Kasse, because it's, what it's used to buy food, basically. Uh, one of the latest additions to the space is a CO2 meter, which it's, so it turns out that CO2 concentration in air is a very good side indicator for aerosols. A normal concentration about 400, 400 ppm in the atmosphere we're hovering at 680 which would be highish but at least like at a thousand you should really look into ventilating your room based on the work of uh well i don't know the keto keto's co2 ample and whatnot you, you see a lot of these in hackerspaces these days useful devices to tell um to give you indications on your quality there uh, okay it's getting rather analog now Hi, Claude. Hi. What have you got there? Ah, there is a little synthesizer. There is an old little synthesizer from this workshop of music from outer space. That is a massive fucking installation, man. Yeah. Like, what is all this? What happens cable. if I pull this cable? <laughs> it's a channel out. <laughs> so? What we need is... Uh, we need that one. How about this one? The cables. blue one. Why do we need that one? It says pulse something. It gives a pulse to over there. Can you turn it? Can you show us? Can you turn it up? Can we hear so some... You, you can try on this. Can we get a bit of music? No, can you just turn it up? Turn it on. Put it on the speakers. Speaker. Let's go live. We're live here. RC3, welcome to the analog synthesizer performance of Claude. He'll be performing live later uh, in the lounge, I think. No, live on somewhere. You can check it in there. You can see it in our schedule. Which cable do I need to pull? So if that is it get any better, not much of a difference. <laughs> okay, thank you. Can try, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, we'll be back with you later uh, for your performance. Thank you. Casper. Hello there. Good to have you. What have you been up to? Well, I've been uh, trying to whistle around, you know. I'm loving to... Um, 
uh, check out new sounds uh, all the day. And what you see here is uh, preparation of the workshop introduction at uh, eight o'clock. And I will give you a small indication of what I'm going to do. Uh, it's something like uh, everything could be a whistle. Yeah, even this toy. That's what I'm going to tell you. And, uh, if you don't have a 3D printer, you can make 3D strange nice. Fluids with some combined and then wow, that's what's happening when you uh, join the workshop. You will see what all these whistles can do. And I think uh, I'm uh, uh, very uh, cheered by the fact that uh, I got into whistles. Although as a keyboard player, I probably would never have been into it if the wind was not a uh, perfect power to get into. Excellent. Thank so, you very much. This yeah, is called uh, Five Drauf, right? Five yeah, Drauf. Five Drauf. Uh, blow Me Down is a kind of a... Uh, um, yeah, it's tradition uh, to that, but um, I think the best is uh, Five Drauf. Just make fun with all the holes you find in the world. Excellent. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much. See you later. Yeah, this is... Uh... Getränke kasse, because it's not the same as coffee. Coffee is like, you need that. Getränke is more of a luxury. The usual supplies of... Oh, here we go. <coughs> let me just... This is a scarce resource at the moment. Oh, here, yeah, let me show you through our COVID prevention measures. Um, no. So basically people have to... So our safety concept is, uh, it's a bit of a difficult time. You sign up here with your name and contact details. You throw that card in here. If nothing happens, uh, the, the, your details will get automatically burned after 14 days. Da -da -da. More fancy posters from the Bundesamt für Gesundheit. And some hand sanitizers. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, uh, over here, this is something I've been working on, which is the Zweigstelle Bitwäscherei der Chaos Post. Maybe, so we've had, we've got a few things happening. One of the newer services, um, labeling as a service, which is basically a e-touch. With lots of labeling tape, feel free to label your ship. We've got electricity as a service in the flavors 12, 5, 3.3, minus 12, so you can go 24 if you like. It's currently powering this device. Oh, Goldifizierung, yes, we're also running a service called, we've got a focusing issue. Anyways, Goldification is a thing that we provide, which is Basically, it's turning shit stuff into gold. Let's have a quick last look at our. Uh, 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 uh. I've got a focus thing issue with it. Whatever, post office, uh, we've got Lady Ship of Skya requesting a goldification. Maybe if you could hold the camera for me yes. while I provide the service. You have to go outside, acrylic color, not a good thing to use. <laughs> Protective gear. The acrylic color is hard to get off, so we're using it. Plug. And now let's see. I hope the, the Wi Fi doesn't drop. We'll just go out here because it's that far. And it's qualification time. Wind is about going that way, so. How much do you have to do? Do you? It appears we've been uh, upside down a little bit. 
It's due to the gimbal, of course. I think that is gold, if I do not. We've got one corner and it's still clean to carry it. Great gold for Oh, by the way, there. Do they have names? Do you have a name? Chicken. Chicken one and two. <laughs> we got them. Somebody needed to record something with chicken. So we got two chicken. And then we had chicken running around and we just got to get used to them and start to like them. It was time to give the chicken back. And you know what happens? The chicken. So we just couldn't do it. It's still upside down, it appears, because my gimbal is a working mess. Anyways, that was a chicken. Yet it's great. I don't have to, I have to get rid of my... The chickens. The chicken. Let me finish the tour by giving me a little preview of my personal uh, hobby right now. This is a WS85 karaoke microphone from Korea, I think. It's really big in Korea. And you basically connect it over Bluetooth. And you go Frank Sinatra, my way, lyrics. I hope we can open it. Now, you is me, and so I face the final curtain. Come visit uh, virtually in Adventure Time. Come visit physically on location if you can. Um, looking forward to a good Congress with you. See you around.